Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 5, where we read, A trustworthy witness will not lie, but a false witness utters lies. This obviously is a very straightforward verse. It's not really hard to understand, but I think it underlines something very, very important. You could talk about witnesses as far as being in a, in a courtroom or or something like that, and I think maybe that's what they're implying here. But obviously, if you take this truth out of the courtroom, your whole justice system falls apart. Our justice system is based on truth, based on people being honest in their, as a witness, not lying, because people's lives are at stake. And I think way back in the very beginning, as God was establishing his, his law to his people, he was very much aware of the fact that you cannot have a justice system without truth. If witnesses are lying, you, your whole system falls apart. And so he says in Deuteronomy chapter 19, A single witness shall not rise up against a man on account of any iniquity or any sin which he has committed. On the evidence of two or three witness, a ma- a witnesses, a matter shall be confirmed. If a malicious witness rises up against a man to accuse him of wrongdoing, then both the men who have, dis- have the dispute shall stand before the Lord, before the priests and judges who will be in office in those days. The judges shall investigate thoroughly, and if the witness is a false witness and he has accused his brother falsely, then you shall do to him just as he is intended to do to his brother. Thus you shall purge the evil from among you. The rest will hear and be afraid and will never again do such evil, an evil thing among you. And there God is emphasizing the importance of being a trustworthy witness. If you lie about somebody in a courtroom and you're lying and that lie could send that person to, to, to death, Or to some other penalty, if you lie, that the very thing that you lied, penalty that should be bestowed upon your brother is what's going to happen to you. And that is a very ominous reality that God wants us to be aware of, that God instituted in his people, because that's the only way the justice system will work. Perjury is a big deal in a courtroom. You cannot have a a trial and reach a verdict if that verdict is based on lies, or at least an honest verdict. And so I think he's emphasizing here the importance of telling the truth. And I think, obviously, telling the truth is important because the whole, if you go back to Genesis, our whole world come unraveled because of a lie. Satan accused God of lying to Eve, and then Satan turned around and lied to Eve, saying God didn't say what what, what you think he said. God said the day you eat of it, you will surely die. And Satan came along and says, God didn't say that. You won't surely die. And then sin entered the human race because he believed Satan and took a bite of the forbidden fruit. But Jesus said to the Pharisees, he says, you were liars because you're, you're of your father, the devil, who was the father of lies. And the further a culture moves away from God, the further it becomes a culture that is dominated by lying. And I th- certainly think we see this in our culture today. Tr- the truth, what is the truth? Remember playing that little game in, in school when you had 20 people line up in a row and the teacher would whisper something into the first kid's ear and then he would whisper it to the next kid's ear. And by the time they got to the last child in the line, then they said, what did, then they say it out loud. It wasn't even usually close to what the teacher said at the beginning. But to, we're living in a culture today where every child thinks their version of what they heard is the truth. And, uh, and it's true in the news, it's true in... Everything in our society, it used to be that news was reported because to, to report the facts, but now the rep- news is, is, is biased. It used to be unbiased. And now when we read in the paper, when we listen to people, things on the news, we, we're just listening to the bias of the people talking to us. Newscasts are not governed by truth. They're governed by political, moral agendas. And they twist and can make people say pretty much anything they want them to say by sound bites and just half sentences here and there. And, and putting their spin on things. and, and the, But the truth is still out there. And what really happened is, is, is real, but we never hear it because it's just clouded like in that little lineup of people. And everybody in that line thinks their version of the, the truth is correct, even the first kid. But if you want, really want to know what was true, you got to go talk to the teacher. What did you say? And we've gotten away from that in our culture, and our culture is really it's becoming a place... When you take that out of the judicial system, 
nobody is safe because people can accuse you of anything, get a couple of their buddies to verify their story, and you're toast if without the truth. And so that's why it's so important in the judicial system. It's why it's so important in life as well. Can people trust what we say? Are we faithful witnesses? If we don't know the, know the truth, then don't tell. Don't, if we don't know what happened, then don't say anything. If we don't know the facts, then don't make them up to cover your a friends or to cover yourself. A trustworthy witness does not and will not lie. And we need to be people who, whose word we can be depended on. If we don't know, say, I don't know. But a false witness utters lies, and we're seeing that today in our culture everywhere, and it's tragic. We're seeing it in the courts, and I don't know if they still punish for perjury, but sometimes you'll hear people say, you know, do you swear to tell the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. And then they sit on the stand, and two people will sit and tell completely different stories. So one of them obviously is lying to protect themselves or to protect a friend or whatever. Justice falls apart. Society falls apart when truth is abandoned. Our lives fall apart when truth is abandoned. So um, we've stressed this a couple, of, a couple of days ago in Truth in the Trenches, the importance of truth. A trustworthy witness will not lie. It doesn't make stuff up. It doesn't say what they don't know. It doesn't add to the story to make it more palatable or more friendly or protect somebody. It just states the facts. So may we be people who speak the truth Speak the truth in love, but speak the truth. We do not want to be known as people who cannot be trusted because that's the world we're living in. Christians need to be people who know and love the truth, the truth of the Word of God. If we have to go to a court, we, we know we're going to tell the truth and people can trust what we say. We just If we don't know the, tr the facts and we say we don't know the facts, then we, we're honest about it. A trustworthy witness will not lie, but a false witness utters, utters lies. We could say a lot more about this, obviously. But may this truth guide us and guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.